That was the worst thing about Zoom comedy was you're bombing in your oh. room. So like now I'm in my room bombing <laughs> and you close your laptop and you're like, oh, I, I'm, I'm home. still here. I'm still here. I'm still yeah. in, swimming in this feeling. That was the worst. The Zoom shows. That was God. really tragic because it was just like this doesn't it's this isn't the art form. No, no way. You got all these little boxes, and you're like, is that guy laughing in the top right? No, he's not. Okay. It, su- it sucks to bomb in places that are like, they give you peace in some sort of way. Because like a comedy yeah. club, you're like, all right, I, that's where that happens. But like, yeah. I did a gig at the Strand Bookstore once, and I'm like, I like coming here. Uh, and I yeah. fucking uh, ate it. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, you guys are ruining the store for me. Like, this store makes me happy. Yeah. It's yeah, it's like, like having a breakup with someone, and then you don't want to go to the restaurant. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bombed in front of my hero, and then I can't even. Who's your hero? Stuff anymore. Tony Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> Is that no, true? I, it's not my hero, but I did like read some of his books when I was younger, and like I like Tony really? Robbins. Really? And I mean, he's kind of a now. I I think he's a psycho as I because I bombed at his birthday party, so now I have what? to demonize him, and then I feel what? better. You, you perform for his birthday? And how badly I bombed? Like, it, no, I, I could picture it. <laughs> What did you talk about? Well, here's the thing. They first they go because Tony wanted me at his birthday. No idea that he knew who he's I a fan. Was. So he, I had his handlers did like a Zoom call with me, and they were like, "Tony wants you to a big screen, and it'll be Joe Biden, and he'll introduce you. He'll say the president's here, and then you'll come up on the screen." I was like, "Oh, I'm, I'm a little worried they're gonna think the president's really there because he doesn't meet these presidents, and mm-hmm. then they'll be disappointed." And they were like, "This, this is." We're a cult. That's what Tony wants, you know? Yeah. There's no arguing or whatever. So I was like, okay. So um, I I get, it just was like, I knew in the back of my head this was bad. I, you yeah. know, your subconscious you figures it. it out before you do. Yeah. Because later I figured out, first of all, the intro of me was so huge. He goes, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Tony Robbins. Oh, like, yeah. He's literally a giant. Like he. How tall is he in real life? He's seven feet. No, tall. get at out least of here. Seven feet. He's at least six eight. He, he's yeah. really very tall. Six six. six. Well, he has. Look at he has giant look at syndrome. Picture. He does. Look at that mug. Well, he on. does. He has a tumor actually in his pituitary gland, and he what? never removed it. and It pumps out growth hormones. That's why he's that. Oh, big. that's why he's Whoa. so happy. Yeah, and he never got it removed. But. Whoa. Um, so, yeah, so what, yeah. what happened with the bomb? So, he's, so he goes like, he goes, you, he goes, have I ever disappointed you before? And they're all like, nah. Like everyone is pumped up with this weekend of like, you can do it or whatever yeah. the thing was. <laughs> and they're just like, rah. And he goes, he goes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have a big surprise for you. Now, the guy before me was the secretary of treasury. Oh. Okay. He was there. Interviewing him went way over, by the way. Who wants that guy at their birthday? I need the secretary. Well, of this Treasury. was like his birthday, but also like this weekend of his like prime okay. members. And then talk about Zoom, just like TV. He has an amazing studio, and just like TVs around the world zooming in. Whoa, like three hundred people in seats. Oh my god! And what's the secretary of Treasury? He was the guy's like a criminal. This is back like <laughs> during like it was like two thousand and eight crisis was like his fault. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Larry Sumner's. Oh, yeah. I remember him. So he talks like this, and he was. Yeah, no, Sumner's. Yeah, I know Sumner. And Did you just put in a different name? <laughs> his, uh, what year was that, you think? You did this. Oh, this is 2020. Okay. Ooh, no. 21. Oh, no, it was recent, yeah. COVID time. And and he's getting laughs. And that to me, I'm like, I'm like this is definitely going to be bad. <laughs> So That's a good sign, though, if he's getting laughs. I, no. I, would, I would go the same way. I'd be like, if, if they're laughing at this shit. Yeah. I ah, see. I didn't but feel that. But it was that. corny shit they were laughing Ooh, at. I don't get why this I guy just, gives a speech. Who's after you? The attorney he, general? <laughs> well, he was we interviewing him, and he was just talking okay. about whatever. So um, he goes, he was in. Inc- so it's very believable that the president would zoom in, is what I'm saying. Okay. This guy was just on stage. That makes right, sense. Right, because they're not saying he's here. They're saying he's on Zoom. Yeah. Right. And so then they show a package of Tony meeting every president since <laughs> Taft. Oh my like, God. just like Tony meeting. So he goes, ladies and gentlemen, zooming in. And he talked Tony Todd. He's like, zooming in from Washington, D.C. And already the crowd's like, ah. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, the president of the United. And then I come up with my crappy wig on the screen. And the whole audience goes, oh. <laughs> oh. 
And I'm like, hey, it's Tony Baloney's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> dead silence. Like, dead what? silence. Dead silence. And I'm in my head, I'm like, this is the funniest thing I have. This is dead silence. <laughs> Tony Baloney with the worse. closer. <laughs> you open with the closer. <laughs> so then I have to introduce myself. And I'm like, no, Kyle Dunning, I to do some comedy. And I was behind the screen. So I come up from behind the screen. And they all just stand up and go, <gasps> start cheering but i just bombed and so i was like what is this weird thing and then after i realized like oh they're like so indoctrinated like you when someone enters you give them all your energy mm. and you, so they were doing that thing but it seemed sarcastic because i was bombing and i was like <laughs> yay you're the one who stinks and then i just started doing um i, I was just jumping around you ever panic and just start doing other impressions <laughs> well no i i was doing stand up at this point, because I had an impression thing for the end, please. Yeah. I don't, I, this is trauma. Do we have trauma <laughs> talking about it? But you ever do a thing where you're like, you jump in the middle of a bit, you jump to a different bit. You're trying to find something that works. Yes, of and I'm course. Like, so nothing's even. And then I said as joke that was so. Um, it was just yeah. I had to do my time. I had to do it was thirty minutes. It was more money than I ever gotten. Yeah, I was gonna but say you probably made so much money. It was a lot for me. For me, it was a lot. But it's funny because yeah. Tony Robbins hired you, and after this bomb, you have to hire him to like <laughs> build your motivation. Hey, I needed back a up. tag. That was good. I, 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 need, I want to talk You're about like, this. You're like, I need story. help. I'm, I'm in a dark place, Tony. What did, That's did he really talk funny. to you afterwards or no? This is like maybe the worst thing. Because I, uh, I had them sing happy birthday to him. And they all turned to him and they were like, happy birthday. <laughs> and uh, I snuck off. And but I could still hear him, and he goes, "You guys have a day you'll never forget." Because they went like you Whoa. know swimming with sharks or whatever. Yeah. And he and they're like, "Yeah." <laughs> and he goes, "This is a night I'd like to forget." No. Oh. He's talking about me. I've never in my life try to find try to find him saying one negative thing <laughs> ever in his life. And he said, <laughs> and he said about me, like and I I like Tony Robbins. Anyway, but he point. hired you. He's a fan, clearly. Not anymore. Not yeah, anymore. but that's that's uh, that's so fucked up to know someone's act to hire them and then he turn tried up. to help me though in his defense. Like yeah. when I was Joe Biden, he's like, look, he's he's asleep. He's asleep. I didn't. I was like, oh. please don't help me. Oh, you know, in my head, I'm like. Oh no, this is uh, bad. But anyway, it was quite the experience, and um, yeah, every time I see him, I feel like a flush of shame. Well, I think he's a bad guy. There were that. murmurs. Mark. I'm just going to help him out here. <laughs> there were. Look it up. I think there were murmurs of a me too. Okay, okay there we go. Right, and let's be real. If you've got a cult and you're not taking advantage of them, are you oh, really running a cult? This, this is good something point. that I got, uh, which also made me really nervous. I googled his last birthday, which like his it was his 60th, and it was like, oh, hold on, right there. He Click was on crying. One the people who it was like all okay, these very famous people performing. For there him. we go. Look at that. Four more women accused. Tony okay. Robbins. All right. Good. <laughs> Boom. Hey. Boom. You don't want to kill I with this it, guy? I did it for the women. Dunnigan <laughs> gets the last laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>